morning, family in Jesus. I welcome you this morning again. If you want to follow in the Word of God this morning, we are going to be reading a piece out of uh, Philippians chapter 4. Uh, we are keeping with the theme of peace this morning. And um, it's amazing how the Holy Spirit works in our lives. Because throughout this whole week, uh, it's uh, Thursday today, and throughout this whole week, I have encountered people and met people and spoken to people who, um, who are running around in their minds, running around in their spirits. They, they don't have peace about something. Um, they are chased by this world through stress and anxiety and worries. And, and this is a, a huge thing I have seen this week. I, I can see why the Holy Spirit is leading us to get deeper into the word of God concerning peace because there is so many people running around that don't have this and they, they are constantly anxious about something or someone. And the word of God is so beautiful. We, we're going to be reading a, a piece this morning um, concerning anxiety and peace and how the two oppose each other. So if you want to follow this morning, in the Word of God, in Philippians 4, we are going to be reading from verse 4. If you have your Bibles, the Bible says, Rejoice in the Lord always. So, he starts off here with a, a powerful piece, a powerful statement. He says, Rejoice in the Lord. Meaning that we can seek our whole lives here on earth for something to rejoice in but we just won't find it other than rejoicing in the Lord. Because everything that gives us hope, everything that gives us um, joy and happiness and, and peace and comfort is in the Lord. So the Bible says, excuse me, excuse me. So the Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. I will say again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. This is a, this is a beautiful promise that I'm not to be anxious about anything i'm not to stress about anything i'm not to worry about anything but in everything in everything to present my request to god um, in in prayer then the bible says in verse 7 and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ. So here we can see that uh, the previous week we spoke about unity, and now this week we are talking about the peace of God. Here we can see in this scripture that Jesus is bringing those two together, that peace and unity, excuse me, oh, I apologize, excuse me, that peace and unity go together because here, the word of God says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ. So the peace that we are looking for, that we are searching for here on earth can only be found in Christ. Amen. Uh, verse 8, the Bible says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true. Whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, in everything, um, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So yet, the Bible is guiding us in helping us in our hearts and our minds that 
the, the, the one way to find peace is um, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure. Excuse me, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Then verse 9, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, which is the apostles concerning the word of God, or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. So here, the Bible again teaches us, brothers and sisters in Christ, that we are destroying ourselves by um, being chased by um, anxiety and stress and depression and worries. And we are destroying ourselves. We, we are running from left to right and back to front, north to south, east to west, trying to sort out situations in stress and anxiety, the scripture starts off with rejoice in the Lord always. I will say again, rejoice. Let gentleness um, be evident in all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious in anything. It doesn't help us, brothers and sisters in Christ. I, I cannot, I simply cannot wait for the second coming of Jesus Christ, because then we won't experience these things anymore. Um, if, if you are holding on to the life of this world, if you are someone that is saying, no, please, I don't want the Lord to come back now because I still need to do this, or I still want to do that, or I still, brothers and sisters in Christ, believe me when I say to you that it is better that Jesus comes back just to settle everything and to finalize everything, to put down the Lamb's book of life, to see if our names are written in it, to take us and to go to, to heaven for eternity. It is truly better. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the days are just going to get worse according to the word of God. The, the, the stress and anxiety and worries are going to increase by the day, I mean, this year that we've gone through alone has been, I think it has been damaging to so many people on so many levels, um, spiritually, physically, mentally, financially. And, and if we have a look at the prophecies according to the word of God, it is not going to get better. So to call on the name of the Lord, the Bible says we will be saved. And to long for that day that Jesus returns. Um, and then until that happens to every single day. Don't be anxious about anything. But in everything. Present our request to God in prayer. And believe that he will sort it out for us. Amen. Let us pray. Father God in the name of Jesus we thank you for this day. We thank you Father God for gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the truth of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father God, that you love us so much that you sent your son, Jesus. We thank you that when Jesus returned to heaven to prepare a place for us, he did not leave us alone, but he gave us the Holy Spirit to guide, lead, and teach us. Lord, to remind us of every word that Jesus spoke. We thank you so much, Father God. We call again today and we say, please, Father, send your son Jesus, Lord. Please, we long to, to be with you. We long to be in your presence. We long to spend an eternity with you. So we thank you, Father God, for this brand new day, for the gift of this day, for the potential of this day. We worship you, we pray and we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. I hope and, and pray that you have a blessed day today, um, that this day is filled with the presence of God. And above all, I pray that the peace of Jesus Christ will rest on you and in your life today. Um, until
until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.